What's up everyone? I wish to give you a swift tutorial on the correlation between what's called the Tree of Life, some called the Kabbalah. We call it an ancient Rimkam, Rimkam here, which means ancient Egyptian. Om. Om. How this tree is actually a stylized symbolism of the Orion constellation. Both the tree and the constellation of Orion were linked by the Kamau to this Neteru, this part of you called Osar. Okay, so here we have 10 bubbles, 10 spheres linked by these wires. And this symbol represents the order of the ancestral world. Now, here we have Orion with its major seven stars here, one, two, then three, four, five in a belt, six, seven. Here's the head star. Here are the shoulder stars. Here's the belt. And here are the legs, basically. Now, if you look at this symbol here, you'll see these top three resemble this top three triangle set here. Okay. And if you look at the gray, black, orange, and green, they form four stars, like the four stars of the main body figure of, or, of Orion, or Osar. Now, if you go from orange, yellow, blue, you see a kind of diagonal. This is the belt stars of Orion, these three belt stars. Okay, when Orion is rising. And when he's setting, you have red, yellow, green. Okay, so the orange, yellow, blue shows Orion rising, red, yellow, green shows him setting, and the red, yellow, blue is when he's culminating, when he's fully at the meridian. So this square here, you see this square here, contains these diagonals, which represent the various stations of the Orion belt stars at various points of its daily transit. Okay, now, in this area here, this kind of black area, are what's called the Orion Nebula, the nursery that creates new stars. Okay, and to be actually frank with you, the we didn't call this the belt stars in Rinkam. This is called the phallus of Osar. It's his penis on the rise. When he's rising, these stars go up like this. Here I have him rising, and the penis is up. That's the orange, yellow, blue angle. And when he's setting, it reverses to the red, yellow, green. The penis is said to be going down or returning back to repose. And when he's at full power, it's sticking straight up. Here it's a bit stylized, this yellow dips, but the idea is more or less a straight line of green, yellow, and blue. Okay, so the Kamau took the Orion constellation and drew a stylized diagram of the main star points of this constellation and the flux of energy from white to, to uh, gray, black, blue, red, yellow, green, orange, pink, and multicolored. That's the sequence to show you that this and this are the same thing. Okay, now we have here the Giza Plateau here. These are the three great pyramids. They correspond to Orion's phallus. And the texts say that Orion's phallus was severed by his evil brother Set, thrown into the, the Nile, and swallowed by a fish. That fish would be the age of Pisces, the fish age. The phallus would be the virility of the Kamau and of the black people. And the water that it was thrown into would be the Middle Passage that happened during the great perversion, the great terrorism of slavery. Now, 
you'll see there are other pyramids on this plateau besides the three mighty ones. This is Al Nitak, Al Nilam, Nintaka. And you see these three pyramids here? There are three pyramids next to Khufu's pyramid here. Then there are three over here by Menkaura's pyramid. Note that the three by Khufu, if you're standing from, this is the north of my cursor is, and I'm, this is be southbound. This is the Sphinx in due east, looking at the heliacal rising stars of the spring equinox. But we have three pyramids standing upright, much like Orion's rising phallus. These three pyramids, if you look at them from the angle of Khufu's pyramid, when Orion rises, these pyramids on certain dates in certain eras will match this lineup of pyramids. And when Orion is setting, his phallus is going downward, these three pyramids, these are called the temple pyramids, really, the temple pyramids here, these three here show Orion setting, his phallus going to rest. Okay, so that's basically the tutorial. Again, this is simply a stylized diagram of Orion. You could almost overlay this diagram to this diagram. And this shows that the tree of life called the Aum, or Aum, this is on page 20A and 20B of Budge's Hieroglyphic Dictionary. And it says tree of life, Aum. It also means a pine tree to be gracious, to be kind, to be pleasant, to be benevolent, aum, to be sweet, to have pleasure, things which please. It means a divine nurse, the goddess of the divine nursing. It means a kindly one, a gracious one. It means a house, tent, camp, or station, meaning where the ancestors live, where they station. It means a wagon, meaning this carries the ancestors. It means weapons, which means the Kamau had these powers to help them against evil and foreigners. And it also means a lion. Aum means an, a lion, which is the power, the force that one gets when they use this tree in connection with Orion rituals to become mighty upon the earth, to become king of the world, king of the jungle. So... I pray you enjoyed this brief tutorial. I'll be doing more future workshops and classes on the tree, the Aum tree. The word Aum you've heard in, the, in India, Aum. It means eternal life. It's the sound of eternal life, which would match the tree of Osar, who was the lord of all the ancestors. So I'll be doing again more workshops in the future. Stay tuned for that. And... We pray you enjoyed this video. Do share it, and I pray that the ancestors of Kemet shine upon you all with grace, charm, ferocity, bringing you all the sweetest things of life. Dwa Wen Hotepu.